<sighs> Hi guys, so my name is Kara. You guys probably already know that, but I just wanted to talk quickly and briefly on the Black Lives Matter movement just because I feel like there's so much going on in the world right now. It is not okay for me to not use my platform, even though it is small, to talk about such important issues. And I feel like that is what this channel is for and it's... I don't deserve a platform if I am not using it in a good light, if that makes sense. If you're not aware, there's a lot of racism in our world and it is not a new thing and it continues to show up in the media from time to time and it's, it's really sad to me that people deny it and they refuse to believe that it's not happening. And it blows my mind because it's so blatantly obvious that people are being discriminated against because of the color of their skin and you choose to ignore it. Um, I, I feel like it's... As a white girl in America, I will never understand all of the things black people in this country have to go through. And it truly saddens me that because of that. I hear things all over the media recently about everything people go through and it scares me. The fact that they get into a car scared that one day a cop will take their life, that is unbelievable to me. I wanted to come out with this video sooner, but I didn't want to seem uneducated and I wanted to educate myself before coming on here and speaking. I've been really all over social media because I think right now social media is one of the best platforms that people are bringing awareness to. Uh, YouTube videos and TikToks, Snapchats, Instagrams, Instagram stories, people are spreading things like wildfire and I think it's amazing because truly as I said, as a white woman in America, sometimes you're blinded and not seeing what other people go through. And it, I feel like this past week has been really crazy to me to see everything that I almost don't get to acknowledge because I am very privileged to be white and to not have to go through that. I also see a lot of people saying that white privilege doesn't exist and that again makes me angry. <laughs> Um, because it obviously does. Even statistics, people are like, well, black and white people get arrested at the same rate, but then you don't realize that there is a smaller sample size of black people being pulled from, therefore, it is not the same rate, and people are just so blind and don't realize how wrong things are in America and don't acknowledge that things need to change, and that's why I think it's really important to realize everything that's going on and educate yourself. I've also been hearing a lot of people say all lives matter. This also <laughs> triggers me as a lot of the stuff does during what's going on because I seen I saw a TikTok that perfectly explained it. There are two houses in the neighborhood and one of them catches on fire and a fireman shows up with a hose and he starts watering like spraying the house on fire. And the other house goes, why don't you host my house down? And the fireman goes, is your house on fire? And they said, no, my house is not on fire. And the guy says, then why do you need the water? And they say, cause he needs, if he gets the water, then I get the water equal. And they're like, that's not what it's about. Of course your house matters. I never said it didn't matter. But what's important is that this one needs more help and that is what the black lives movement is about it's not that saying that my life isn't important it's saying that there's someone else going through something that is worse than i couldn't even imagine and so we are trying to help this person so please if you are someone saying all lives matter you need to realize and take a step back and think that this part like of course your life matters but right now this isn't about you i also have been seeing a lot of the stuff with the rioting on the news and of course i you can sit there all day and say that you hate the rioting and 
I'll never completely understand it, but I can't invalidate someone's feelings because I don't understand what they're going through. And neither can you. <laughs> and that's just the best way I can put it. I don't want to say it any differently. I see a lot of people saying, yeah, I get his life mattered, but they should stop destroying property. And I feel like it should almost be the other way around. Like, I get that they're destroying property because his life matters. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I phrased that right, but people are putting emphasis on the wrong part. And uh, yeah, and even just being on social media, you hear a lot of stuff and that's crazy. <laughs> Ugh. It's mind blowing that people are so ignorant <laughs> and I hate to say that but Sorry, please just learn uh, I don't think that anyone is really truly a lost cause. I think that you can learn and grow by having conversations um, I encourage you to have those conversations. I have Had conversations with people at the start of the week Saying things and my views have changed because they've proved to me that my views are wrong and I think that is completely normal and respectable to have your views be changed because someone explained something to you. So I encourage you to have those tough conversations and even if you're scared to because it's going to brighten you up as a human and change your mindset. I also want to say that I know a lot of people feel that it is awkward to talk about it on social media but it's worth having that conversation if you want change. It's it's about what's good and what's or like what's right and what's wrong. And right now, being scared that your Instagram isn't neutral and or the way you want it to look is less important than rights of the people of our friends and our family of just people we know. It's inhumane to think that way. I also wanted to say that I see a lot of the news capturing only the bad things and yeah but there also are so many people that are peacefully protesting and taking things in a good light so I no matter how much bad you see I want you to realize that the media doesn't always show the good things and just to remember that everything in the world isn't bad even though sometimes it feels like our world is crashing and falling apart because of everything going on so please always look for that light in the end of the tunnel because it is there <laughs> Now I wanted to talk about ways you can help as an ally. First of all, I know a lot of my viewers I've seen in my analytics are from the age 18 to 24. There are younger people, I understand, and I support you. There are also ways you can help. But I just wanted to say that if you are 18 to 24 or even older than that, you can vote in this upcoming election. I'm not saying my political views or how I feel, but please choose to see a president that you want as a leader. And sometimes it's really, it's on you. And if you are unhappy with this country, I want you to vote and make a change. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Next, if you have money and are willing to help donate to GoFundMes and different organizations that will help the Black Lives Matter movement and different things because there are there if you are able to why would you not <laughs> i get it if you cannot that is totally fine there are other ways that you can help but that is just really appreciated if you can the next thing you can do to help regardless of if you have money or not is signing petitions i saw a lot of people posting black squares and then you saw you saw the number there was like more black squares posted on instagram with less signed petitions if you are someone that's posting a black square because it's a trend and haven't even signed a petition it doesn't make sense <laughs> signing a petition it takes three seconds like maybe f maybe five five at most to click it type in your name press enter that's all you have to do you don't have to donate you just have to sign your name and it helps a good cause um, please, there are so many ways in sitting there and feeling sorry for yourself because you can't help is not the way to go. So please educate yourself on different ways like that. You can also watch a tons of different documentaries. I'm going to try and leave some in the description below. I know there's one called 13th and these are just super important to spread awareness because I feel like being aware of what's happening in the world is the best thing you can be lastly i just wanted to talk about um how to donate if you can't 
um, there is a video made by, I think her name is Zoe Amira, let me, let me check, made by Zoe Amira, and it is an hour long. It is filled with tons of different things, I can't even, I can't even show you, like music and art and so many different things and it has tons of ads on it and just by not skipping the ads all of the revenue is going to organizations like black lives matter to help support this cause people have been letting it play watching it listening to it having it in the background they've been putting on vpns and re-watching it over and over just to give that revenue and honestly watching it once and it's a really good way to help if you have no money to donate but really i just wanted to talk because I know this is a sensitive subject but as an ally I think that I should be doing my part and that you should be doing your part. I will feel that I have done my job even if one person goes into the description and donates, signs a petition, watches a video, does something. So that is all I ask of you. Please Think about what is going on in the world right now and try to make a difference. Okay, that's it guys. Bye.